There are a lot of typing websites out there, and sometimes when people give you all sorts of advice, it might be difficult to choose which one you want to use to practice and get better. However, in today's video, I will be going over each of the top four or five typing websites that I think should be considered when you want to practice, get better, or even just have fun. So, this is my guide to typing websites, which you should use, which you should avoid, uh, pros and cons, etc., etc. Let's get right into it. So, a quick note before I go into this video, uh, you guys might be thinking, obviously, Penguin, you are biased, right? I, I'm a biased person towards Nitrodype. I have a Nitrodype hoodie on. I play Nitrodype. Woohoo! But I must say that in the past, like, six months or so, I have really branched out into doing other typing websites, namely um, Type Racer and, of course, Monkey Type for, for some of my world records and stuff. And so in this video, I will try to be as least biased as I can possibly be, taking in accounts of all sorts of fast typists, taking in my own opinions, but obviously trying not to be biased towards the game that I obviously play the most. So, without further ado, let's get into our first typing website that should be at least considered if you want to get faster. Nitrotype. So obviously Nitrotype is on this list, and this list is not really typing websites that are supposed to help you get faster or typing websites that will automatically make you go 500 words per minute. It's simply big typing websites that are obviously notable, and Nitrotype is nothing but a big typing website. So two big points about Nitrotype. First things first, it can help with your speed. Uh, I know a lot of type racer people just got really triggered, but I went from about... 30 words per minute to about 150 words per minute on Nitrodite. Just with Nitrodite. Like, that's that literally it. Uh, and I believe that if you use Nitrodite and you care about improving, you can easily improve. Another thing is, another big pro about Nitrodite, it is fun, right? Nitrodite, in my opinion, is one of the more interesting typing websites simply because they offer all sorts of, like, anime, yeah, not animated, but all sorts of cosmetic rewards. There's leaderboards if you play a lot. There's teams. There's a big community that you can uh, get yourself involved with. There's all sorts of cars that you can collect. There's cash you can earn, etc., etc. And especially as a younger person, you know, like, 10 to 13 years old, Nitrodite is a really appealing website, right? You get to type and you get to practice and you get better, but you also get to like earn cash and buy cars and woohoo, all that type of stuff. So one of the biggest uh, like upsides to Nitrotype is it makes you want to type, if that makes sense, right? Nitrotype's done a great job at making you want to type. There's all sorts of rewards for uh, and for grinding, not grinding specifically, but for at least you know practicing, doing the races, right? You get rewarded for playing the game, which is obviously how most games work. But Nitrodrape has done a really good job of keeping people ent entertained and interested in typing. However, there are two main drawbacks, and that can be observed by looking at the majority of the player base, most of whom are not that fast and not that accurate. The first thing is, accuracy is sacrificed, right? On Nitrodrape, you don't have to correct your mistakes, which is obviously very different from sites like Type Racer, and of course, very different from real life. And so when you don't have to correct your mistakes, you can develop bad habits and start to get like an ina inaccurate typist. Uh, so it's important that if you're going to play Nightshape that you practice on your accuracy as well. Try to keep it at least 98 plus. The second thing is you can have inflated scores. This has been an issue that a lot of people have been talking about recently. Uh, but basically, Nitrodype can make your speed seem faster than it actually is. For instance, someone like me, I average about 145 on Nitrodype. However, on a site like Type Racer, I only average about 120. On a 60 second test on like 10 Fast Fingers, I only average about 130, right? It's definitely very different from site to site. And of course, in real life, I can't really type 145 words per minute. That's not that's not really a thing. I'd say it's usually around 130. So something to keep in mind that is, if you go like 170 on Nice Type, you might not be the fastest typist in the world. You could only go like 130 in real life. Just just something to keep in the back of your head. Nice Type can make you seem faster than you actually are. The second site that I wanted to talk about is, of course, Type Racer. Now, Type Racer is one of the oldest and probably the I don't know, most well-known typing websites. Uh, it's definitely a very, very big typing website out there. And Type and Type Racer has also been acclaimed to be one of the best websites for improving. And I would have to say that I agree. <laughs> if you guys have never heard of Type Racer, basically you type you type passages and and that's a, you know that, that, that's that's what a typing website is, guys. But something that's important about Type Racer is that when you make a mistake, you have to go back and fix it. 
For instance, if I join a practice race and I make a mistake on my first word, I have to fix the mistake before I can go on. And then I have to fix that mistake and that mistake, etc., etc. That may sound really annoying, but it also practices you and makes you uh, get better at accuracy, right? It makes sure that you learn accuracy just as much as your learning speed, which is very, very important as a typist. So I would totally recommend Type Racer for the accuracy practice. There, however, there are also another couple reasons that I do like Type Racer. One thing is that there is a speed leaderboard. Woohoo! So it shows the top 20 fastest races in the last hour, which is really cool. So if you do like a 160 race and you're super proud of that, you can get on the leaderboard. This encourages people to try and get better. This encourages people to try and improve, try to type as fast as they can, obviously, uh, which is super awesome. I think that's a great thing for a typing website. If every typing website had a speed leaderboard, most of them do, but if Nightshape did, it would have been a lot better, obviously. Another thing is you can do practice races, you can do all sorts of races, but one of the best parts of it is that there are, uh, is that the text is a lot more realistic than some websites. It'll make you practice things like punctuation, like semicolons and, and quotation marks, all these types of symbols that you will always use in real life, but you will not find on like sites like nice type, especially not sites like the couple, the next two that I'm going to mention. So Type Racer is great for punctuation, accuracy, and overall, it's just straight up improvement. I would definitely recommend Type Racer for anyone to use. A couple drawbacks are, of course, the style of the website is very simplistic, and even some of the custom themes don't make it look all the best, uh, which is obviously one of the points for Nice Type is that it has nice style. However, the style of Type Racer, you know, it's simplistic, it's basic, it's boring. Uh, a lot of people have been asking for it to be, like, somewhat upgraded recently. I don't mind too much. It, it, it definitely could be upgraded, but take that with a grain of salt. Now, if you guys watch Speed Typing's YouTube channel, you, of course, know the next site that I'm about to showcase, which is called Monkey Type. Now, Monkey Type is actually a fairly recent site to hit the scene, although it has gained a pretty big amount of popularity. A lot of big names are using it, and a lot of people have been, you know, suggesting it and talking about it. So, Monkey Type, for those of you who don't know, is most well known probably for its customization. You see, if I move my custom, or if I move my sub count up in the top corner of my screen, I have a bunch of different buttons that I can click on that will create customized text for me. So we got words options so where you can type 10 words 25 words 50 words 100 words time where you can type 15 seconds 30 seconds 60 seconds two minutes quote so you can do a quote and then you can change the quote and then there's a bunch of a ball like there's like there's literally a bunch of different settings that you can use to customize anything punctuation numbers whatever and in my opinion, Monkey Type is a pretty cool site. I'm a huge fan of it because of the customization. I also really like the style of it. It's got a very simplistic style, but it's not like boring like Type Racer. It's just simply nice and soothing to the eyes. And if you guys aren't a huge fan of the uh, pink and purple color scheme that I got going on over here, you can change the color scheme of the website to basically anything you want. You can see there's like a billion options right here. Uh, all sorts of colors and if all of these options aren't good enough you can actually like custom make your own if you know anything about colors so it's really cool and there's a ton of customization on the site that make it a really smooth clean site one of my biggest problems with monkey type is the fact that it is random words so obviously that's the problem with any random word website but you will be typing random words random like top 200 words or whatever so if we read this passage set high find few high ask be it not small and against like that's not, that's not really, I don't know how to explain it. It's not really typing, but it's like, it's, it's typing words, but you're not typing like sentences, which is why I like Night Stripe and Type Racer, because obviously you're typing sentences. However, you can, you can turn on modes like punctuation, but of course the punctuation mode just puts in random periods and capitals and question marks somewhere, so it's still not the same as like sentences. So one of the things that I don't like about Monkey Type is the fact that it's not really realistic typing. Another thing you might want to consider is also inflated scores. I bursted 210 on monkey type when I cannot burst anything higher than like 180 on nice type. I can't burst anything higher than like 170 on type racer. So inflated scores on monkey type is is considerably, it is something to consider. I just think it's great for the customization. So overall monkey type, pretty good site, but there, you know, it, it's random words if that makes sense. Now, I could not make a video on typing websites without covering 10 fast fingers.
So for those of you who don't know, 10 Fast Fingers is probably one of the most well-known typing web websites and has been around for a very long time. Basically, it is, it is the common website for things called a typing test where you type 60 seconds of random word typing. It's a lot like monkey type, but a bit different. 10 Fast Fingers is obviously, it's another typing website where you can simply do typing tests, 60 seconds, random words. You can also do like harder words too, which is super cool. So if you want to challenge or if you just want to get better at typing harder words, which is something that everyone should want to get better at, you can go to that section as well. So that's it. You can also switch the language in which you do typing tests, which is actually really cool. Um, I don't know too many other websites that really do that. I'm sure the typeraiser has some like Spanish quotes or whatever in there, but yeah, you can switch your typing test language on uh, Ten Fast Fingers, which is really really awesome. So if you are, so if you want to be like Tenens and learn Malaysian, you can do that. If you are a Spanish speaker and you want to type in Spanish, you can obviously do that, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, which is really cool because it's got that element of versatility. Uh, other than that, Ten Fast Fingers is just really straightforward. There's not there's not much to it other than just like doing typing tasks. There's competitions and stuff like that. But it's a pretty real it's a pretty minimalistic like decent typing website. I'd recommend it if you want to improve on your endurance, right? How um, one minute long passages are obviously great, and they will help you with your endurance. Um, and I would also use it as a very realistic way of uh, telling how fast you can type, uh, because the scores usually line up with like a type racer average. Obviously, nice types a bit inflated, monkey types a tiny bit inflated, but a, a one-minute test on 10 Fast Fingers is usually pretty much about what you can type. However, of course, the drawbacks, it is super minimalistic. There's not much to it other than the typing, which is, sure, that's not a bad thing, but it can keep you less and less interested if, if you want to ever like try to grind on this website and try to get better. Uh, it can keep you less and less interested than a site like Nitrotype. Also, it is random words, as I said, with uh, monkey type, so it's not really simulating actual real-life typing where you type, like, sentences or short paragraphs, right? It's just random words, which is why it's it's a nice website, but it's also the, something that you want to consider. You should never use a, a website like 10 Fast Fingers as your main typing website because then you will never good get, get good at punctuation. You will never get good at things like that. So all in all, 10 Fast Fingers, pretty good website. Nice job. So, all in all, which typing website should you use if you want to improve, have fun, etc.? I think that each typing website out there offers a lot of really good uh, perks and, and, and has a lot of really good upsides, but it also, every typing website has downsides, which is why, you sh in my opinion, you should not just use one. You should use Nitrotype for getting faster, like your raw speed, and also for having fun. Nitrotype is like a really fun, loose website. So if you want to just type a bit and have some fun, play Nitrotype. Type Racer is great for improving your accuracy and overall just improving your typing in general. I think the Type Racer all around is one of the best typing websites. Monkey Type is really good for the customization. Um, if you have, if you ever have the need to do a 15 second test or you want to improve on your endurance and do like a two minute, a two minute test or a 10 minute test or a one hour test, you can do that on Monkey Type. 10 Fast Fingers is also super nice to, you know, kind of show a metric of your real speed, work on endurance, and of course, just work on your random word typing, which will help out your speed in the long run. So, in my opinion, each typing website has its perks. They also also have their downsides, so you should be aware of certain things that I mentioned in this video while you're typing on each website, and you should be sure to practice all sorts of things like your typing endurance, your accuracy, your raw speed, etc., etc., to make sure that you are the fastest typist you can be. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, comment down below which typing website you like the best or which one you use the most. Um, I know that because obviously this is my channel, we'll probably see a lot of uh, Nitro type in the comment section. However, I do want to hear if you guys play like a lot of Monkey Type or 10 Fast Fingers or Type Racer, etc, etc. Uh, also, call me out if I said anything wrong in this video. I don't think I did. <laughs> I, I, I try not to lie. <laughs> um, but if I said something incorrect, please call me out for it. Um, because I obviously don't want to say incorrect things. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next video. Goodbye, everyone, and have, as always, a wonderful day.